Stay all day. Stay all day. You are now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative. That is the go-getter energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today's topic is how to remain mentally flexible. First of all, before we do this, let me tell everybody, I have a daily motivation text that I send out for free every day to everyone who's in my text community. A message is guaranteed to keep you focused, sharp, and on point. You want to get that message every day straight to your phone for free? All you got to do is text me to get that text. My number is 305-384-6894. And every day when I send that message out, starting tomorrow, you'll get the next one. And and as an added bonus, you can text me. You can respond to any one of those texts. You can have a direct communication with me that is not outsourced. That is me responding to your text. So text me at that number again, 305-384-6894. is listed down below in the show notes. Now the topic here today, how to stay mentally flexible. Back in episode 734, I told you about how to keep all your opinions flexible. And today I want to talk about just the overall mentality of being mentally flexible so that you can uh, change with, you can adopt, not even adopt, rather I should say adapt to changing circumstances, the ever changing circumstances of life. And you can adapt your mindset to change with the changing times and circumstances that are always changing, including up to and including your opinions. So today is not only about opinions, but also just the way that your mind works and the way that you are thinking so that you can stay mentally malleable and open to the fact that circumstances, information, and your mind all will and should change over time. Point number one, topic again today is how to stay mentally flexible. Number one, maintain few mental and emotional affiliations. What does this mean? It means that you can have whatever opinions and ideas and thoughts that you like with the caveat that every opinion, idea, and thought that you have is open and subject to change at any given moment. Think whatever you want, have whatever opinion you want, have be on whatever side of whatever conversation you choose to be on with the caveat that every single one of those opinions, ideas, and thoughts that you have is open and subject to change at any given moment. Any given moment. You are not stuck on any one idea ever. That is the mindset that I want you to have. I told you about this just a week or so ago in episode 2245 when I talked about putting on a business suit. I don't even have one on as I'm recording this right now, but one of the things that I changed my mind on, I used to think, well, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. I mean, if you're good, you're good. I changed my mind on that. I have an open mind that that was my opinion at the time, back then when I used to think that way. My opinion is different now in the way that I show up and approach what I'm doing. Not necessarily when it comes to recording this show, but overall and just in my day to day life, maybe when I'm dealing with people in person. So this is the idea is that you are not affiliated, meaning you are not married to any mindset. You are not married to any specific thought. And the ones that you are, they should be few and far between. And those should be based in principle, meaning this is just the principle. It doesn't matter what happens in life, what changes, how things go. This is the way that I this is the way that I see things and I'm staying that way. You should have principles, but your opinions are not the same as principles and your opinions should not harden into beliefs. That's why you want to make sure that you don't fall into that trap, which a lot of people do. Do not allow your opinions and thoughts to harden into dogma which is what most people do. Dogma is just when you have certain ideas and you're just like, I'm sticking to these ideas no matter what, even if there's factual information, and even real life experience that flies in the face of these beliefs that you have decided that you will not budge on no matter what. And understand that the opportunity in life, as I told you in episode 1025, the opportunity is always in the opposites. Most people have a full set of beliefs that are not based on any form of hard evidence. They just believe things just because they have 
been taught to believe them maybe often from a young age maybe because there's some emotional connection to some of the beliefs that they have or maybe you have there's no hard evidence to actually support these beliefs but people have decided that these are the things i'm going to believe and just based on their emotional decisions to simply believe something for no other reason than the fact that that idea or whatever they're thinking about is touching them on some emotional level in some way they've just decided that this is just what I'm going to believe. As a professional, your only affiliation professionally is to your performance and to your results. That is your only affiliation as a pro when it comes to your business, which means anything that can help you perform better or anyone or any idea that can help you perform better and to produce more results, you are willing to take on while at the same time dropping whatever old approach is no longer producing at the same level as the new approach. It's kind of like if you're running an advertising campaign and one advertising campaign is producing a return right now, but then that ad campaign stops working and then there's a new campaign, you do an A-B test, a split test between the two campaigns and campaign B is kicking campaign A's ass, then you should be willing to drop campaign A and just pick up on campaign B because campaign B is the one that's making you money. Why? Because your affiliation is not to nostalgia in campaign A. Your affiliation is to what's actually going to make me money based on the money that I'm putting in, right? So when it comes to something like that, most of you probably can look at that and chuckle and say, yeah, of course, Dre, if the ad B is making more money and producing a higher return than ad A, of course I'm going to run ad A. Then here's the thing you need to have a measurement when it comes to your professional world of what is the outcome that I'm after and how do I measure and know if approach A or approach B or C or D is getting me closer to the outcome that I'm going after. If you don't know what your outcome is, then anything could work. And this is how you end up lost or you end up getting into what they call uh, paralysis by analysis because you have all these different options but you don't have a measuring stick so you don't know how to know which one is working and which one's not working you gotta have clear measuring sticks and clear outcomes for the things that you're doing so it's easy for you to make these decisions it's easy for you to say okay this is working this is not working many people have a set of beliefs not standards not measurements not uh, kpis ways to measure their performance therefore when it comes time to actually uh, decide what am I going to do next or how do I know if this is working or that's working then uh, you don't have a, you don't have a way of making a decision we talked about KPIs in episode 1930 KPIs is how to measure your work so if you haven't listened to that episode it is listed uh, down in the show notes and you could also go, always go to work on your game podcast.com remember that the opportunity is always in the opposite so since most people don't have KPIs you have them so now you have the opportunity that other people are not taking advantage of and make sure you're not making emotional decisions for logical outcomes. All right, your logical outcome is what is the result that I'm trying to get to? Make sure you're not making an emotional decision about that. As a professional, your affiliation is to results. So there was a Tiger Woods commercial back in the day, uh, for those of you who remember, where he said, it was just his face on the screen, and he said, I am not a Nike athlete. I am a best golfing products in the world athlete. And then he slowly put on a Nike golfing hat. It was a great advertisement that perfectly illustrates my point. Tiger was uh, communicating, even though he was signed to Nike, uh, he was literally a Nike athlete, but it was still a great uh, communication point. He was communicating his affiliation was to performing in golf as best he possibly could. And he would work with whatever company produ produced the best product for him to do that. And then he said, without even saying it, that Nike is that company. And again, he was signed to Nike at the time, but it was a great advertising campaign because of the way that he communicated the point. And it's the same thing that you need to understand in what you are doing. So you should look at your ideas and opinions the exact same way. My affiliation is to what's going to produce the result and anything that can help me produce a result, I'm dealing with it. I was talking about this on my Instagram story just the other day from when I'm recording this. My affiliation, personally, your host, my affiliation is to the game, to performance and to results. Whoever's about that and they're willing to invest in getting them, those are the people that I want to deal with. Anybody who's not on that wavelength, we can still be cool, but we're not doing business together. All right, I talk about this, I basically talk about this every single day, but I talked about it a couple episodes ago when I said, well, I'm not in the N-word business. And when I talk about people investing in themselves, when I talk about people having poor money mindsets, I'm talking about these things. My affiliations are the people who want to have game, who have game or want to have game, and you're about performance and producing results and you're willing to invest in getting them, those are people I want to deal with, nobody else. 
Point number two. Today's topic, once again, is how to stay mentally flexible. Number two, maintain that everything is subject to change with respect to the end goal, the end goal being the production of results. Since the end goal is producing results, everything should be based around and built around what's actually going to help me do that. Anything that's not helping me do that, I'm not doing. The most mentally rigid people are people who have a, they have these ideas, they have ideas in their head that they will not change for any reason. Uh, you become mentally rigid when you have ideas and opinions that you're just going to hold on to for no other reason than you've had them for a long time. You just want to stick with them, even in the face of factual information that is in conflict with what you believe. Even evidence and your own life experience that are in conflict with the things that you have chosen to believe and you still won't change your beliefs or you find a way to ignore the facts, the evidence, and even your own life experience and you try to, you basically uh, twist your way into, I'm just gonna keep believing what I wanted to believe. All right, this is, when that happens, that's when you become mentally rigid. All right, and this is not ignorance, this is stupidity. There's a difference between being ignorant and being stupid. Being ignorant means you just don't know something. Being stupid is when you know something, but you are uh, behaving as if you don't know it. I talked about this in episode 2195, how to not be stupid. And there's a difference between the two. And this stupidity is the very thing that keeps people stuck in life. The moment when you become old in life is the moment when you lose your mental and physical uh, swiftness and uh, fluidity. When you're no longer able to change mentally, when you're no longer able to physically move, that's when you start to become an old man or an old woman. You can be 25 with an old body, you can be 35 with an old mind. Anytime that I hire someone to work for me, I always show them, I always show them the process that I want them to execute. If I have an idea of the job I want them to do, show them the process that they're to execute with the caveat that this is the way we do things now, but if you can see or devise a better way of doing things, then I want to know about it. And if your way is indeed better, then show me how your way is better and we're going to make the change immediately because here's the goal. Anytime I'm showing someone what to do and I want them to do something on my behalf, I tell them why I want them to do it so that them understanding what the end goal is they're not just being a robot just do what i say color by numbers but they're understanding the end goal so if they can see a way to reach the end goal better than my way of reaching the end goal then let's do your way now if your way is better than my way then let's do it let's get to it why not why not go to a better way because remember my affiliation is not things had to be done my way my affiliation is things got to get done to reach the goal so what is the goal for you and this is how you stay mentally flexible knowing that the goal is here everything else is changeable Everything else is subject to change because the goal is for us to reach the outcome. So if somebody else's way is indeed better, then let's make the change immediately. We don't need to go back and forth on this. We don't need a 30-day uh, grace period. Let's just do it right now. Most people understand what I just said logically, and they understand when they need to make changes in order to, you know, to make an improvement in, your, in their life. Yet, many people are unwilling to make such change and such such that the change becomes damn near impossible because they're not willing to make changes to ways that they have been thinking their entire lives this is mental stiffness and that mental stiffness makes you old the change for a lot of people is a big negotiation between reality and their chosen beliefs this is the challenge for most people that there's the reality that's in front of them and then there's their chosen beliefs and there's like a battle between the two that's why I told you you need to be careful about how many of your opinions you allow to harden into belief. Your opinions should be just that, opinions. All opinions are flexible. You get new information, you get new experiences, you get a new perspective, then an old opinion should be dropped just as quickly as you get the new experience. Why not? It's just an opinion. You don't own it. You're not married to it. You shouldn't be. Point number three. Today's topic again is how to stay mentally flexible. Be willing to entertain the possibility that a new idea may actually be better than your current idea. Just maintain the possibility. Just entertain that idea. Somebody might have a new idea that is better than your old idea. Like, hey, maybe it's not. Hey, maybe the new idea is not better than your old idea, but what if it was? Are you open to the possibility that you might have a, there may be a better idea sitting there in front of you and it may not have come from you? Think about the beliefs that you showed up with, the opinions that you brought with you when you came here today, and ask yourself, 
is are they better or not better than the new perspective that you have been shown now just based on your own just based on your own logical deductive and inductive reasoning based on your own uh, rational thinking based on your own you know, logical way of looking at a situation is it possible that this new idea might actually be better than your old idea and if the answer is yes then you got to drop the old idea immediately if the answer is maybe then let's test out both ideas against each other again your affiliation being to the result and whichever one wins wins all right this shouldn't be hard this should not be hard folks but if it is the case that the new idea is better than the old idea here's my question to you how quickly do you pick up the new idea and delete the old idea and this sounds like a really simple concept me saying it it sounds almost silly for me to even have to say this but maybe you'd be surprised maybe you wouldn't and how many people are unwilling to change and drop an old idea when a new idea is clearly outperforming the old one because people allow their opinions to harden into belief there is a big difference between the two opinions are simply your way of looking at things now based on your current perspective but as soon as your perspective changes your opinions should change as soon as you get new information your opinions should change as soon as you get new ways of thinking your opinions should change as soon as you come across new ideas your opinions should change if you get new perspectives, new ideas, new information, yet you keep all the exact same opinions, you have become mentally stiff. You are mentally uh, mummified or you are mentally paralyzed because you haven't changed even though everything around you has. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Again, this is when we start drifting from ignorance to stupidity. Ignorance is when you just don't have information. But once you have information and you still stick to the same stuff, now that's stupidity. Uh, there's, that's the line between the two. So if the new idea is better than the old idea, here's my question to you. How quickly do you drop the old idea? This question is a very good case study if you want to know the inner workings of any, any person's brain to see how they deal with the fact that a new approach is clearly better than their old approach. How easily do they get rid of the old approach? Many people offer some form of resistance, not because they have tested the validity of the new approach, but simply because it's not theirs or because it's new and and because and or is because in direct conflict with the belief that they've had for the last 20 years and they just don't want to drop it when i had a friend show me years back that i could start eating more clean i could stay away from packaged foods and even go vegan this is about 10 years ago i had a certain set of beliefs in my mind opinions slash beliefs in my mind they were opinions that were that i had they were beliefs that were based on opinions that and they were based on complete ignorance both of them that someone could not be a plant-based athlete and still be like an actual high-performing athlete and you couldn't have muscles if you were plant-based. But as soon as that friend showed me that Dre actually, on the contrary, there are many examples of plant-based athletes who are actually great performers. They have muscles and they can run, jump, and do all that stuff that you do. I immediately took all my old beliefs and my old opinions, dumped them in a the trash can, and I adopted a new perspective immediately. And I'm talking like that day I did that. Many people simply don't have the mental flexibility to do this and they will fight the new idea just to defend their own old idea, even if their old idea is not based on anything provable, simply because many people just don't want to change. People become mentally stiff. Again, they are not mentally flexible, but the whole point of today's topic is how to be mentally flexible. So make sure you don't become this person. And if you're already this person, hopefully this episode helped you, but if you still need help, then I would suggest you seek a, a good therapist. Right, because you need it let's recap today's class which is how to stay mentally flexible i talked about in episode 734 how to keep all your opinions flexible this is about how to keep your entire mind in that space number one maintain few emotional affiliations decide what your north star is what is the ultimate goal that you're after everything you do should be based on reaching that goal and anything that can help you get to that goal better than what you're doing right now drop the old thing and pick up the new thing do not allow your opinions and thoughts to harden into dogma that's what a lot of people do and is what causes people to get old and stiff like tiger woods said i'm not a nike athlete i'm the best golfing products in the world athlete and they happen to be nike products that's why i'm with nike point number two maintain that everything is subject to change with respect to the end goal the end goal being producing results and high performance right, make sure that you are not allowing your old beliefs to beat up the new beliefs simply because they are simply because they're new beliefs and you just don't want to change all right you can be 25 with an old body 35 with an old mind as soon as you lose your fluidity mentally that's when you become old and if the new way is indeed better than the old way then we got to make the change from the old way to the new way immediately anytime something new is presented to you you should always be open to it because it might 
be better at helping you get to the goal that you're actually going after. Number three, be willing to entertain the possibility that a new approach may be better than your current approach and be willing to test it out. If you're not sure, you can't tell, then be willing to test it out and let's find out if the new way is better than the old way, but you have to have a North Star, you have to have a goal, you have to have a stated outcome in order to even perform this test in an accurate way. Many people offer some form of resistance to a new idea, not because they have tested it, but simply because they rather just stay with the old thing because they just don't want to change. All right, make sure you don't become this person. That's the whole point of today's episode. Do not become a person who is mentally old and they don't want to change in any way simply because you don't want to entertain anything that might be new. If your mind is mentally flexible, you won't ever have this problem. Text me, get my daily motivation free to your phone straight every day. My number 305-384-6894 and go to workonyourgameuniversity.com to get all your options for how you can work with me directly in my masterminds and coaching programs. Again, that's workonyourgameuniversity.com. Work on your game. Dre all day.